Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I wanna share with you guys, there's a bunch of tips people just generally don't do or just don't think to do that do improve your performance quite considerably. If you guys are brand new, make sure to like and subscribe. Those things do help out the channel so, so much. And also I do wanna talk about the affiliate on the channel. And of course I am talking about no ping. So if you guys haven't heard of no ping, it's a optimization software that actually speeds up your connectivity and therefore gives you a lot lower ping. Uh, it's pretty awesome, hence its name, no ping. So I'm also gonna be giving you guys 15 keys. In fact, I'm gonna display those on the screen, oh, bam, right now, so you guys can use these codes here on the screen. It's a first come, first serve situation, so I'm really sorry if you guys are watching this a week from now. And I'm gonna be doing this all the time, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you guys can get notified of this. They give me 15 keys every month, so I'll be doing this again in April for you guys. And if Noping doesn't actually speed up your connectivity, no problem, they got a free trial so you guys can test it out and to make sure it actually works. All you do is click on Fortnite and find the lowest ping server you can find in the list. Once you do that, simply click on it, click optimize this game and you're ready to load up Fortnite. And if you guys missed it yesterday, I did a full how-to guide video on the best settings for Fortnite. Um, you guys can watch that video. I'll have it linked in the description as well so you guys can take a look at all the best settings. But after you tweak all your settings, what are some other things you can do to speed up your performance? One of the first things I always like to do if I have bad performance is first opening up Task Manager. You can do that pretty easy just by typing in Task Manager in the bottom left. And in here, you're gonna have a lot of background running applications. So you might see a bunch in here that you weren't even aware are running on your PC. For instance, Epic Games Launcher, after you have Fortnite loaded, you can end Epic Games Launcher. You can actually do that also down here in the bottom right. You can just right click on it and close it out. Close any other background running applications. For instance, we got Telegram, I can close that out, don't need it. So just basically go through here and if you see something that just hasn't been used in a long time or you're not even sure why it's in here, just right click on them and end task. Um, the only time you won't be able to is if you have any that look like little um, desktop icons basically. Some of these you won't be able to close out and if you try you'll get an operation could not be completed, access denied. So of course skip any of those but if you see something in here that you just generally don't need or don't use make sure to close it out. Um, definitely helps out a lot. Like right now I have my internet browser running and it's using a lot of resources. The next best thing to do guys is to defragment your hard drive. I have tons of stuff, just random crap on my PC that I really don't need. So what I'd recommend is searching defrag. When you search that, you'll see defragment and optimize hard drives. You'll click on that and for any of your drives, just simply click optimize after clicking on the drive. And this will just do a quick health check. It'll run through your entire drive and it actually automatically removes and fixes any broken or corrupt files in data. So it's just generally a very good idea to do this for all of your hard drives. Another tip that I've mentioned a lot on this channel, but is hardly ever in any other guide videos, seriously, try to find any other YouTuber that talks about using a background running game optimizing software like Razer Cortex, Wise Game Booster. And people really don't know about these because they're third party apps, but all you have to do is run them before you even start, you know, playing Fortnite. And they work wonderfully. In fact, what we're gonna do is a simple comparison. I'm gonna show you what kind of FPS I get in creative right now. Okay, there we go. So I just went into my Fortnite map, uh, this is my creative map. And as you can see right now, we're getting about 180, 120, it's kind of actually fluctuating a lot, but the low is around 150 and the high is around 270 from what I see here. So we're going to compare that. We're going to run the Cortex game booster and see what kind of difference that makes here. By the way, Razer Cortex is 100% free. Same with Wise Game Booster. You guys can just search them. Make sure you download them from their official sites. So what I recommend is first running the game booster, then running the system booster. This is going to best optimize your PC on Razer Cortex. Razer Cortex just works the best in my opinion, but that's just me. So under uh, Game Booster, you're gonna click on Boost and you're gonna go to Boost Now. And something that's pretty cool by the way is it shows right here how much RAM you actually just saved. I almost saved four gigabytes of RAM just by clicking on Optimize here. And we're gonna go to System Booster and we're gonna go ahead and click Scan. Awesome, so once you have that done, it actually tells you what it optimized down here. 
as you can see it cleared some storage and it also got rid of some um, it defragmented some uh, corrupt files and stuff so after you've done that you're good to go you can even close out of here now you don't even have to have it running for it to uh to finish up what it just did there all right we're loaded back in and immediately you can already tell the difference we're running 230 with a high of 300 we weren't getting anything close to that before um so yeah i mean performance almost doubled just from doing that with razor cortex so i am not sleeping on you guys when i tell you game boosters make a ginormous difference okay um, but yeah, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, if you're having any other issues, let me know. Just comment something down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to take a look at it. And if I find a fix for it, you know, I'll hit you guys up and I'll get you guys banger video on it.